and we'll sit in darkness and we'll start to plan to examine it, oh God, and know my heart. Save me and know my thoughts. This is from Psalms 139 in the Safaria. Examine me, O God, and know my mind. Probe me and know my thoughts. See if I have any vexatious ways in me and guide me in ways everlasting. That's what David said. That's what David said to God. He said, the reason he said that was because he said, O oh Lord, you know I hate those who hate you. David hated his enemies. <clears throat> David hated his enemies because his enemies were the enemies of God. He said, Oh God, if you would only slay the wicked, if you would only slay these murderers and keep them away from me, who invoke you for intrigue, your enemies who swear by you falsely. The enemies of Israel swear by their false gods falsely. And he says, O oh Lord, you know I hate those who hate you, and I loathe your adversaries. The Bible says that David killed tens of thousands of enemies of God in Israel. And he says, he says, if you would only slay these wicked murderers and keep them away from me, who invoke you for intrigue, your enemies who swear by you falsely, because they swear by their false God, and they don't believe Yeshua is the Messiah. O oh Lord, you know I hate those who hate you, and I loathe your adversaries. That's King David. That's the man that God said was a man after his own heart. He says, he says, Oh Lord, you know my mind. Probe me and know my thoughts. You know that I hate those who hate you. And you know that I loathe your adversaries. I want to kill them to protect my people and save my women and children from slavery and rape and torture. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel a perfect hatred towards them, and I count them my enemies. Examine me, O oh God, and know my mind. Probe me and know my thoughts. <clears throat> Examine me, O oh God, and know my mind. Probe me and know my thoughts, and see if, I, see if I have any vexatious ways in me, and guide me in the ways everlasting. David was a pure heart. He might have had a weakness for women, but God will overlook some things if you're a worshiper. And David was a worshiper. He worshiped God. And he was a man after God's own heart. And he said, God, you know I hate my enemies and I hate your adversaries. I hate them with perfect hatred and I count them my enemies. But then he would say, examine me, O oh God, and know my mind. Probe me and know my thoughts and see if I have any vexatious ways in me and guide me in the way everlasting. That is from Psalms 139. And David said, when I sit down or stand up, you know it. He said, you discern my thoughts from afar. You observe my walking and my reclining and are familiar with all my ways. He sees my walking when I'm going on my power walks. He sees my reclining in my leather recliner and playing a, some Destiny or Call of Duty. <laughs> And uh, he's familiar with all my ways. There is not a word in my tongue, but that you, O oh Lord, know it well. He knows our prayers before we even pray them. He knows what we need, and he gives us what we need, not what we want. There's a word, there is not a word on my tongue that you, Lord, already know it. You hedged me in before and behind, and you laid your hand upon me. Is anybody hedged in? You hedged me in and you laid your hand upon me. It is beyond my knowledge. It is a mystery. I cannot fathom it. It is beyond understanding. It is it's too good for me. It's too good for me. 
you hedge me before and behind and you lay your hand upon me. It is beyond my knowledge. It is a mystery. I cannot fathom it. Where can I escape from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? David didn't really want to flee from his presence because he said, whatever you do, don't take your Holy Spirit from me. He's, he was just writing a song here. He says, where can I escape from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven in a vision, you are there. If I descend to hell, you are there. If I take the wing with the dawn to come to rest on the western horizon, even there your hand will be guiding me. Your right hand will be holding me fast. If I say surely darkness will conceal me, night will provide me with cover. Darkness is not even dark for you, Lord. Night is even as light as the day. Darkness and light are the same to you, God. It was you who created my conscience and you who fashioned me in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am awesomely and wondrously made. Your work is wonderful and I know it very well. My frame was not concealed from you when I was shaped in a hidden place, knit together in the recesses of the earth. That's pretty deep. My frame was not concealed from you when I was shaped in a hidden place, knit together in the recesses of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed limbs in my mother's womb. They were all recorded in your book. In due time they were formed to the very last one of them. How weighty are your thoughts. How weighty your thoughts seem to me, O God. How great are their number. I count them and they exceed the grains of sand. I end but am still with you. O oh God, if you would only slay the wicked. O oh God, if you would only slay the wicked. If you would only burst open the heavens and come back down to us and rule and reign for a thousand years like you said in your word. O oh God, if you would only slay the wicked and keep these murderers away from me who invoke you for intrigue. If you only say the name God for intrigue. Your enemies who swear by you falsely and by their false gods. O oh Lord, you know I hate them. I hate them with perfect hatred. I loathe your adversaries. And I feel a perfect hatred towards them and I count them my enemies. Examine me, O oh God, and know my mind. Probe me and know my thoughts. And see if I have any vexatious ways in me. And guide me in the way everlasting. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.